Matt and Tracy, you wanted to talk about um, whether or not atheism is rationally justified. Hey, Tracy and Matt. Uh, Tracy, I believe we spoke. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. The name looked familiar. So what's on your mind? Yeah. Well, actually, so uh, being on hold, I, I came up with a different question. It's probably a little controversial. Well, that's cheating. Uh, but I wanted to know. Okay, go ahead. Go for it. Well, it's, just, it's on the same line. Um, <clears throat> I was just wondering because uh, I, I heard um, you guys said something to do with homosexuality, and I was thinking, how is homosexuality rationally justified? I mean, what's the argument that says homosexuality is a moral behavior? Well, what's um, the argument that says it isn't? The burden of proof well, is... I would a, obviously, we, we, begin, we begin, the smart thing to do with it is to grant every liberty and freedom and then begin limiting re, re, freedoms and liberties for good reasons. So what's the problem with two people of the same gender uh, having a romantic and, sexual, and or sexual relationship? Right. Oh, well, the, uh, okay, so first of all, I would say there, there are a couple different problems with that. First of all, uh, often in those kind of relationships, there's a, a high spread of AIDS going on. So it's actually that's detrimental not, to that society a lot. You know, that's true. That's a fact. Um, uh, so, another problem so, so I'm going to pause you. I'm, I'm going to pause you um, because, first of all, uh, while AIDS isn't cured, uh, we, we have great medications that essentially... Uh, diminish the effects and make people so that they can live with it, etc. But the fact that a particular, like you could be in a homosexual relationship and never actually engage in any sort of behavior that even slightly increases your risk of getting AIDS. Right, but also it's it's not a homosexual illness, right? Correct. There, there are huge swaths of, of the globe where um, heterosexual women are the primary, uh, you know, patients in, in HIV. But functionally, the, the question was, why is it wrong? The fact that you could right, but all sex would be wrong if, yeah. if, <laughs> so, so if we were saying STIs. There's a risk of, of STIs, and there's, there's some that aren't going to happen in lesbian relationships very likely. There's some that aren't going to happen in, in male-male relationships. But none of that gets to why it's wrong. The fact that something may not, that it may increase a risk for something. I mean, you might as well be using that to say that skydiving is wrong. Or driving. Because, you know, there's a chance that parachute doesn't open. Or driving. Driving is wrong. Because if you don't ever right. drive, well, this, this, you're not, you're not going to, you know, cause a car accident. Right. This is why I was going to give a, a, a bunch of different reasons. Definitely. Okay, then start with one that's not crap. Obvi obviously. Well, no, that's not a crap. Reason. It is yes, crap. It is, it is absolutely crap. If you crap. understand what Matt just said, then you understand why that's crap. It, it is functionally well, crap because it has nothing to do with the moral component. Right. Yeah, so right. a, a, another reason uh, that there's a, there's a problem with that, and that's why I said homosexual a first behavior reason conduct. There's a problem. Uh, right, so, so one, there's detrimental effects to society. Another thing is it whoa, causes whoa, a lot of... Whoa, 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 uh, whoa. But those are detrimental effects that all sexuality would be subject to. Yeah, and by the way, you didn't <laughs> list any. You just asserted that there are detrimental effects to society. Are there also positive effects to society? Yes, there are. Yeah, so I'm not going to wait for you to answer that because it's obvious there are. <laughs> so now come up with come up with a reason that it's wrong that isn't crap. Right. Yeah. So and a, and a couple other reasons are more on the theological side, which I don't give a shit about the theological side. Yeah, really. That, that, which I which I understand that, but then uh, why? Because because <laughs> those are crap is, too. Well, so do right, you do well, you uh, do you value Broho Broho completely Broho, subjective? All right. Do you value? personal freedom and liberty and the right for people to do. Because you, first of all, you don't choose who you fall in love with. You don't choose who you want to interact. You, you choose what you do about it, but you know, it's not like I chose to fall in love yeah. with Beth or whoever. And I really don't know that there's a, in most cases, a rational component to sex with anybody. It's mostly visceral and yeah. instinctive. And, and so the question here then becomes, we definitely, we're going we're gonna to say we value individual freedom and autonomy, the ability to live your life, the ability to not you know, be punished or ha have the choices that you make um, diminished if they don't impact the lives of others. Um, and so pointing out that there's something that you can view as wrong with homosexuality is irrelevant until you point out the one that is the justification for overriding individuals' freedoms. Right. Well, I, I, I don't think it's really a good argument to suggest just because you don't personally care about religion, uh, therefore, does it matter? I mean, I care about it. I mean, did that assert that my? Well, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can, I might be able to help. Wait. Really I'm, bad argument. Okay. Wait. I might be able to help facilitate this. No, Here's the thing. Wait. It's a wait. 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 Let me just try this. He just said it was a bad argument, and I'm responding to his. <laughs> but bad I just argument. want to Go make ahead. sure he understands. He doesn't. If the religious reason 
is a good reason, then you don't need to use religion because you'll be able to demonstrate it's a good reason even without the religion, right? So if the if the, if the religion has a good reason for putting it forward, then you should be able to just point to the good reason and you don't really need to go to religion for it. Well, I think there's, okay, so first off, there's a few problems with that. First off, it assumes that humans are capable of reason apart from the Christian God, that people aren't supposed It doesn't assume humans are capable of reason. No, no. Humans are in fact capable of reason. Most of us. Uh, okay. Okay, so so, th so there's a problem. It assumes people are capable of reason. I also said that it I was, just said that's not a fucking uh, problem. It's not an assumption. It's a demonstration. Not only are we capable of reasoning, we are able to define and describe reasoning. We are able to describe how and why we know when we come across fallacious reasoning. We are able to describe how we know when our emotions and biases are affecting things. For you to suggest that we are just presupposing that humans can reasoning, that humans can reason is flatly fucking absurd. So don't just assert it again. If I offer a rebuttal, don't just restate the same thing. You need to then rehabilitate your argument or drop it. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, there was the fall of man, I believe, that happened uh, thousands of years ago. I don't oh, believe that the fell. fall of man is a real thing or that it happened a thousand well, years ago. Just because you don't believe that, I mean, that doesn't mean that it's not true. Correct. I mean, and just because you do right. believe it, and just because you do believe it, I, does I not mean, but I'm oh my God, interrupt me one more fucking time, I dare you. Okay, he's on hold. <laughs> just because you do believe it doesn't mean it's true. So if you're just calling into the show to assert things that you believe yeah. and offer no argument for it, I'm not interested. Okay. Make a case. Yeah, and not I, a I have to say that if this is just going to be preaching, just tell us now, and we'll move on to the next call. Yeah. Okay. You're you're off hold. No. Well, I I, I didn't plan on preaching. I just planned. Saying that the uh, starting with the fall of man and then just asserting it and saying this is part of your argument is preaching. Especially when you well, admit that you understand that and Matt's not just going to accept it as. So you don't like correct. homosexuals and you don't like sound arguments. Go ahead. What's next? Okay, well, first off, I never said I didn't like homosexuals, so that's a straw man. Uh, what I'm simply coming on to do is to show that I don't believe the homosexuality it has a rational justification. I think I, if we're to justify homosexuality... I, I addressed I that. I addressed that. I addressed... Like that. What the fuck so did the you just say? That, that claims that it... That what the he's fuck? He's on hold. <laughs> okay, now you're on hold, so even if you're still talking, other people will hear this. First of all... You're saying that homosexuality, don't, homosexuality doesn't have a rational justification. And I address this point at the outset, that we don't need a rational justification to permit people to engage in activities. We need rational justifications to limit freedoms, not to have freedoms. Otherwise, we would have a list of the, here are the five things that everyone is allowed to do, and that's it. Well, Instead, we have maximal freedom, and we begin limiting right. at, for good reasons as it impacts others. Most romantic relationships, though, do not have a rational justification. Usually, it's yes. just because you, you like somebody, you felt in love with them and then you you correct proceed. yeah on on that ground uh that that argument is also crap because first of all as tracy pointed out they don't necessarily have a rational justification but the point that i made earlier was that you need a rational justification to limit them or to say that something's wrong but i would like for you to tell me how the fuck you started with i didn't ever say i didn't like homosexuals and had a bad string of arguments and then uttered the word pedophilia go Okay, you're off hold. Well, uh, I, I, so I, I believe that if one rationally justifies the act of homosexuality with some of the arguments like they're born this way or they didn't have a choice in that in the matter. It wouldn't I matter if they did. arguments can be applied to pedophilia. You don't have to justify it. No, 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 it. no, 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 no. You are completely fucking wrong. Pedophilia, by the way, is a sexual preference. It doesn't mean that somebody's actually going to act on it. And so we're not going to disparage pedophiles who don't actually engage in it. They have no more choice about what they're attracted to than the person who's attracted to a fence post, the person who's attracted to me, or the person who is foolishly attracted to you. So that attraction thing is not an issue. What is a problem is pederasty and child rape. And that is actually a problem because there is not informed, enthusiastic consent of two responsible adults. And that is not in any way remotely comparable to what happens when two adults of the same gender interact and you should be ashamed of yourself for even trying to string those two things together. And it's also not restricted to gay people. <laughs> Let's just be clear yeah. that, you know... Yeah. Um, right, yeah, and I, and I didn't say gay, gay people were pedophilia. I said the justification of the act of and homosexuality, you're wrong. the same arguments can be applied to And you're wrong. There, the, you don't the have same to justify arguments homosexuality. cannot be applied. Well, I've been interrupted about over five times. You know, you know how many times you're going to get interrupted here in a minute? You're going to get interrupted no more times because we're going to hang up.
I, you made a case that the same arguments could be used to justify pedophilia as there are for homosexuality. And I corrected you that pedophilia is not the issue that you're talking about and that the arguments that you're talking about don't apply to both of them. So either acknowledge that or rehabilitate your argument. Yeah, basically what Matt objected to was he was saying that you're, you're talking about con conformed, I mean, sorry, informed consent between adults versus non-informed consent from two adults when you're dealing with children. And so it's not the same justifications. And I would say that you don't have to justify homosexuality. I don't even know why what it means to, to justify, justify it. your attraction to anyone right. or anything. That's not a thing that is right. justified. Right, right. So the pedophile desires are completely fine as long as they don't act on it. Correct. Correct. Is that your argument? Correct. Correct. That's not an argument. It's a fact. It's oh, a so, so, so then, so, so then, um, what would be wrong with someone acting on a desire that's completely neutral? Why, why would it suddenly become it, wrong? Nothing. <laughs> if it was neutral, no. If, if it was no, no, acting on a desire that's completely neutral, is, there's no, nothing wait, wrong with it. He's Whoa. saying that this is a pedophilia. Would he's he's interpreting pedophilia as a neutral desire because you're saying there's nothing wrong with the desire. So what's wrong with acting on it? Because desire and action are different. Right. I'm, I might desire to punch you in the face, but acting on it would be the actual problem. Right. You can desire all kinds of things, but if you're not doing them, then you're not creating issues for other people. And, and I'm a nonviolent person, so I wouldn't yeah, do that I anyway. That's a meaningless dis I think it's a meaningless distinction. Then what you're, you're an idiot. It's not a meaningless desire. distinction. What you're, but what you're simply, what you're simply wanting to rob a bank is, and 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 robbing a bank are, are two, two different, different things. things. Yeah, absolutely. We don't arrest people so and put them in prison for Hunter, wanting are you to now do a thing. Saying that it's okay to desire to want to rob a bank. That's yes, okay sir. To to it's yes, okay, sir. It's okay to want wow. to do anything. Yes, sir. It's, it's not okay to do anything. Oh, what about being a what about a mass murderer? Is that an okay desire to have? It's okay to have that desire. <laughs> right, it's as long wrong as you're not to acting act. on as it. As a matter of fact, the person who has that desire and never acts on it is engaging in a morally superior position yeah. because they recognize that the action is distinct and different and has consequences. Yeah, they have a moral it's filter. Superiority I, I, on, it, on, a, on, a, on naturalism. Can you explain that to me? Sorry, what was the question? Moral superiority on naturalism. How is something better than another position? Can you explain that to me? So our actions have consequences, and it is the actions that matter. Now, if there are, so oh my God, did you? Are you want me to answer your question or not? Go ahead and answer him. Let's. It's okay. Go ahead. So, <laughs> someone has a desire but never acts on it. That is morally superior to the person who has a desire to do something harmful and then acts on it, because. It's the actions that have consequences for ourselves and for others. My desire, what goes on in my head, first of all, is nobody's business. Nobody can know unless I state it. Nobody can make an assessment of me. I could, sit, I could be sitting here every day on the show with really horrific desires that I never act on. I'm not, but you don't have any way to know that. You don't have any right to know it. And what you're doing is trying to make thoughts a crime. But thoughts aren't necessarily a crime. You have to actually make that well, case. Hang on. Well, I'm not talking about the legal content of the thoughts. What I'm simply saying is I the, know the fact that you Holy yourself fuck. delineate between moral superiority and, and you say one thought is better than another, you're simply saying is there's something wrong with this thought, uh, but they're not acting on it, so we're okay with that. He didn't say there's something wrong with that. The only thing that's thought. wrong with the thought that we that we can establish right away is that if one were to act on it, that would be detrimental. That would be against well-being. But people don't choose their thoughts. You don't have any control over whether or not you believe something or are attracted to someone or anybody else. You can, in fact, influence it, and other people can influence it as well. But what you're trying to do is make, along, along the lines of theology, make thoughts a crime make thoughts a sin, make thoughts immoral. And what I'm saying is that it is the actions and the consequences of those actions that make up determine, that, that determine morality. And that is entirely rooted in naturalism. We are physical beings in a physical universe. The physical laws of the universe dictate what the consequences of our actions are. Otherwise, if I stabbed you in the neck with a hatchet and we we're in a universe that could have willy-nilly things, maybe that would uh, actually be a wonderful, pleasant experience for you that would make you immune to cancer and live forever in a universe that doesn't have these naturalistic laws. But we live in the universe that does, and so that's what we use to assess the consequences of our action. The, no, superiority, uh, the superiority of secular morality is that it has the entirety 
the, the goal is entirely about getting better at getting better and understanding and building on that understanding. Religious moral systems oh. have pronouncements about what is, and that's why you're convinced that somebody who has an evil thought is somehow a bad person, even if they don't act on it, and you are wrong. So, Delahunty, are you saying that societal consequences no. then determine whether or not something is correct or the right No, thing. the physical— so society doesn't act on it, then it's okay. No, that's not what he was trying that's to That's not even in the fucking ballpark of what I was talking about. Okay, so so what was the point of bringing up, uh, or as much as we can see, uh, there seem to be consequences to certain actions. Because, right? well, because well, we... How, how does that affect the moral argument? So what's people be, react negatively to it? He's talking about real world consequences, not um, artificially imposed social consequences. You, you, you compare the consequences of actions with respect to a goal. In this case, the goal being well-being. Oh, like, for example, homosexuality, engaging in the practice of spreading AIDS, which you said was Hang up totally on this piece fine. of shit, please. Uh, I have no objection to that. Thank <laughs> you. For those who are saying Matt is running the show from the co-host chair, I'm happy to make that hang up. It, it's, it's also why <laughs> I said this please. This did not violate my <laughs> consent in it's, any way. <laughs> it's, it's why I said please, and if Tracy had wanted to continue it, I, I would have sat here and played chess on my phone or something. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't uh, blame you for that one. That's...